Hey everyone, Looney here. Um, I just try to make sure the volume is set. Um, before I get started, just figured you guys should know that I am going to be doing a different kind of gameplay today. Um, so I'll just warn you ahead of time, if you don't like the sounds of like people eating or slurping or whatever, I mean, I'll try to be as polite as possible, but it happens. Um, I thought I would do today's gameplay in the style Whoa, that was loud. Sorry about that. In the style of a mukbang. Now, it's definitely going to be an American mukbang. Um, and for those of you who don't know what that is, in South Korea, this trend started probably in like 2010. Um, if anybody has a correction to my information, feel free to comment down below. Um, but it started in South Korea in like 2010, and the whole concept is there's a lot of young professionals in South Korea who don't get to eat with people because there's a huge population, like an overwhelming population of single young professionals. And so this whole concept of mukbang came to be where people would sit in front of a computer um, on something similar to Twitch and live stream while they ate for literally like four hours um and you could ask them questions they can answer back and it's like you're eating dinner with somebody and it takes away from the fact that you're so very alone um but i am eating dinner alone tonight so i figured i'd do like an american version of a mukbang um i have just some plain old water and i'm i realize that i'm an adult and probably should have proper glassware but i don't care um, this is some red wine in my Halloween wine glass, because I don't have actual wine glasses. And then, I don't know if you can see it, I have some steak and some rice. Um, so let's go ahead and first click a, pick, plick, plick a place. Um, pick a place for this to start in. I think West Africa? Mmm, so good. Thumbs off. My last video I played of WoW, I felt so bad because my phone was just like ringing off the hook. Um, for those of you who like don't know about mukbang, I encourage you to check it out and like learn about it. It's a really cool concept, and um, the people who do it in Korea, like literally make a living off of it. Some people make upwards of ten thousand. Now this is like the professional, but some people make upwards of ten thousand dollars a month doing it. Um, because just like Twitch, you can send stuff similar to bits, um, and that's how people make money off of it. Let's see. So, my steak is like just a basic cube steak, um, which I find to be easier to chew because I have. TMJ, so it, like, I can chew regular stuff. I'm not, like, an old person who has to eat a pureed diet, but, like, I have a really hard time chewing gum, because after, like, the first 15 minutes, my mouth is just like, nope! Um, so I like to have cube steak, because it's a little, it's enough stick, and it's easier to chew. Um, I coated the pan very, very lightly with olive oil, and... I added some garlic salt and some I added some garlic salt and some oh my god brain fart um Steve Vault this 
some garlic salt, some pepper, and um, that was it this time actually, just garlic salt and pepper, because garlic salt is kind of like a two for one, it has garlic and salt in it. Um, if you've seen me play Plague Inc. before, you know that I am really good at doing like the bacteria level and stuff. But for some reason, this parasite level just constantly kicks me in the ass. Um, so this might take a couple tries. I might be good at it. I might not. And yeah, hold on. They already started working on a cure with the frig. I'm fucked. And I usually cook my steak to medium rare, um, but cube steak is so thin that if you're not paying attention, so I would assume this is like well done. I don't know if you can see it because there's no pink in it at all. What? I wish that I could live stream this with you guys because it'd be a little more exciting, but at least I don't feel like I'm eating dinner totally alone because uh, you guys will be watching this and can technically send me questions and stuff. Shit, stand by. It just won't be until after in the comments. Um, okay. Definitely want to work on drug resistance if people are already working on a cure. Okay. I also want to do genetic hardening because you don't want people to be able to figure out how it works quite yet. Definitely want to do the extreme bio aerosol too. I haven't heard it happen in a long time on this game, um, but usually there's like this really creepy undertone in the music. You can hear the music now. It's like... <clears throat> it's kind of like the music in a movie when a bad guy's about to do something. And then like... This is like while the bad guy's doing the thing before it gets caught. Um, but every once in a while like... It gets super horror movie creepy where they'll be like these little kids singing these songs in the background but it'll be about like Ring Around the Rosie which is a morbid um, childhood song actually about like the plague it's just super creepy um, but I kinda liked that part of it we don't want you to be nauseous Developing symptoms on its own is okay, but like, not something you want to happen right away, because then it's just like, oh hey, there's this new disease and everybody knows about it. Just fuck shit up. Um, yeah, what the hell, put it in livestock so people get affected. wonder. It looks really cool close up. Kind of looks like red blood cells. Okay. We'll work on blood. We don't want to do seizures yet. But maybe a rash. As far as abilities, I'm gonna save up for cold resistance. We only need seven more. 
Oh, look at that. We just got the seven more we needed. Um, so, I hope you guys who watch my videos, who are, who celebrate Christmas, um, have done all your shopping yet and things are easy. Um, if you haven't done all your shopping yet, I hope that nobody mauls you at the stores. Um, those of you who are not American, um, and I don't know if it's different all around the world, um, but American Christmases around this time, people tend to be either super nice or outrageously ridiculously rude. Um, shopping becomes a nightmare, and so, yeah, um, I just hope that everybody stays safe and has a really good Christmas season. Um, if you watch this and you're Jewish, I know that this year, the Hanukkah starts either on Christmas Day, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. Um, so I hope that you have a good first day of Hanukkah. Um, anybody else who watches this who doesn't celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah or any particular religion or holiday thing, um, I hope you just have like a good couple of chill days. I know Christmas isn't until Saturday, but I just hope everybody has like a super good week. Um, shit, I should probably... Okay. So the world, let's see. The world is 72% infected, 28% healthy people. I'm going to take another bite of my delicious steak. Hmm. Skin lesions are going to be super helpful. Yes! Greenland! Greenland's always the last on board, and if you don't get Greenland in a decent amount of time, Greenland will literally fuck up your entire game. Um, I don't know why it's so difficult in Greenland. Maybe because it's so cold there? Um, I don't know why it's so difficult to infect Greenland, but it is. Um, so basically, I'm just going to let the rest of the world get infected. We're really close. 98% infected. Developing hemophilia is not a big deal. It's not something I want to get rid of. Um, let's see, ability is more work needed to develop a cure. For sure. Bite of my steak again. This is so good. Hmm. This isn't really going to, this isn't going to be super helpful, the Walking Dead combo. I'm sure you guys can read, but insomnia and anemia are combined so that people are walking around being less productive, and it even affects the scientists working on the cure. So of all the things for it to develop itself, <coughs> excuse me, that was a really awesome thing for it to like develop. Hmm. Okay, let's see. The world is 100% full. Just sometimes, like, I don't know if you can see right there. Well, people are starting to die already, but it says it's 100% infected, but it doesn't always come up right away. It doesn't, like, say right here, hey, the whole world's infected. It takes a while for the map to catch up. Fever symptom. Yeah, buddy. Okay, there are no healthy people left in the world, so let's, um, 
house it. Get rid of some of these transmissions, stone or the transmission symptoms, because if we sell these back, we can actually use the points to, to develop actual symptoms, not transmission symptoms. Uh, if we would get rid of the transmission points, then we can use it towards symptoms, which after selling all that back, I now have 75 points that I can use to try to kill people with. Um, immune suppression definitely should be a thing. Let's see. Should we go for seizures or paralysis? I say paralysis and what's this one? Total organ failure! Yeah, buddy. That's gonna be a good one. Paranoia and turkey. Time for some more steak! So yeah, there's 87% of this is, 87% of the cure is happening, but uh, I'm going to genetically reshuffle it and just give it a second to register. So at 80% of the cure, we have almost 50-50 of people dead slash infected. So it looks like we might actually win this one. Oh my god! This would be really exciting. The moment of truth. What the hell? Let's just mess everybody's world up. And. 99% of the world is dead. Um, for those of you who have watched me play this before, you already know this theory, but I'm pretty sure that this is what the government uses to, like, plan world domination. Because if you think about it, if you have the right kind of disease or you have the right kind of plague, the right kind of virus, this could potentially be, like, a real-life scenario. Um, and the moment of truth. It's gonna destroy humanity. Oh no. And in celebration of us winning the game, I think it's time for a sip of wine. Hell yeah. So. Before I move on to the next one, um, I don't know, the, my last wow section, I feel like I should explain this. I was like, oh, it'd be really cool to periscope a third wow session while I'm playing and doing it for YouTube because um, it just would be really cool. But as soon as I was done editing and uploading the second wow video, um, our furnace decided to stop working. And so it had been like not working for a couple of days. Um, not well, but officially just decided to stop like igniting and stuff. Um, so the house was cold. It was like seven degrees here, but with the wind chill and stuff, it was negative 17. Um, so I kind of had to stop and take care of that. So I'm really, really sorry that that never happened. Um, I'm not saying it won't happen in the future with other episodes of WoW, but priorities, man. Adulting. Yeah. New plague and gene discovered. Translation plus gene type and pi pri I don't know how to say that. Prion plague type have been discovered and unlocked in single player. So single player, main game, obviously. Prion, slow, subtle, and extremely complex pathogen hidden inside the brain. So obviously we're going to play the new one we just unlocked. And 
Let's see, where is this new gen that we got? Um, yeah, we want to give it a bonus in humid climates. We want to give it a bonus in dry climates. Those ones um, that I already had. Inez Helix. Obviously, bonus DNA when evolving. Cost to devolve. Don't increase. I suppose that would be good. Interesting. Um, normal. And we will name this Muck Bang 2. Okay. Hmm. I want to do an experiment, and I'm not sure it'll work, but I was thinking of maybe starting this plague, well not this plague, this pyrin thingy. Actually, you know what? I'm going to look up how to say this. Um, this is going to drive me crazy. Uh, I don't want a picture of it. Um, pronunciation. I'm literally getting nothing. So if anybody has, like, a clue on how to pronounce this, feel free to comment down below. Um, it would be super helpful. Um, yeah. Let's see. Wait. Let's get rid of all these messages. This is just for days, man. You don't want to shut off the sound on my phone. I have to keep it active, or at least on, though, because I'm getting some messages from work. So I'm just going to do experiment. I'm not thinking this is going to work out too well. We definitely might have to replay this one. Um, but what the hell? A slow, subtle, complex pathogen in the brain. It is much harder to notice and cure takes longer to react to new evolution, so, so that's good to keep in mind. Um, my rice has cooled off a little bit, but that's okay, because um, I'm known for, like, burning myself. Um, Transmit it the normal way. Symptoms are normal. Abilities. Neural breakdown causes breakdown in concentration. Complex tasks become harder. I feel like that would be something to do like halfway through um, when people are starting to notice the cure because like doing science work, <laughs> what's it called, uh, research, is going to become harder. You definitely should have gotten a spoon for my rice. But since it's slow, um, and the reason I say, hold on, backtrack. The reason I say that the U.S. probably isn't going to be, like, the best one is because the U.S. is a fairly wealthy country, um, and we do have a lot of doctors and hospitals, um, but I just figured, what the hell, I'll try it. But since this is a slow to evolve, I'm going to start working on the cold resistance, like, right away. Um, because I don't want Greenland to fuck up my game like it usually does. Um, plus, depending on what the season is, it's only March. I don't know how Canada works, but I assume it's the same as ours. Canada usually is colder. And since Canada is right above us, um, hopefully it'll just, like, go like this. But we'll see. Um, 
need some more rice. Brexit happened in the game. Let's pick a transmission. Through the air? And perfect. Basic air and water transmission. <sighs> yeah, buddy. Excuse me. Any time now. Mm. So this is a really good one for, like right now, the Festival of Love is going to happen in the U.S. So there's a lot of kissing. So that happens usually. Like it, the Festival of Love is going to happen. So what I should try to evolve is... Um, coughing because if there's germs in the saliva during like the love festival in the US people will start to um, spread the germs faster so back to work on trying to take over the world still in the US and, yeah, we'll have to work on the whole medicine thing. I probably should have taken out the ability to have it evolve symptoms on its own. Um, so, if my whole U.S. experiment doesn't work, um, I will definitely remove that factor when I replay the game. But we will see. Under abilities, drug resistance costs 13 DNA points. So let's, um, let's try to get some more points here. Why is this taking so long? Transmission. Yeah, what the hell, we'll put it in the livestock. I didn't want to use my DNA points right now. I wanted to save it up for the drug resistance, but hoping something will happen. Oh, yay! Rice time. Hmm. I realize it said it was going to be slow, but this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh man. Um while we're waiting, um for those of you who are my subscribers, I'm now up to fifty-five. Way to go guys. Thank you so much. Like so much. Um for Christmas all I wanted was fifty subscribers and it's not even Christmas yet, and now I have 55, so thank you. Um, but the, for those of you who have subbed to my channel or stopped by and checked out my channel before, um, might notice that there's like a random school video on there, and I know that some of the things that I mentioned in the video are very, very broad, um, but I only have 15 minutes to do this presentation, which kind of sucks because I'm really passionate about some of the things in the project. Um, but anyway, I had to do a project for my technologies in criminal justice class, and I'm lazy. One, I'm lazy, but two, I'm creative. And I didn't want to stand up in front of the class and, like, present this project. Um, so what I did was made a video, just like I'm streaming now, um, because it was 
legitimate, I asked my teacher ahead of time if it was okay and stuff, um, because I was still presenting the content, even though I wasn't in front of the class, um, and I was using technology to present technology, so I got bonus points for that. Um, but anyway, if you guys want to check it out, feel free. It's already gotten like 30 plus views for some reason. Um, but yeah, that's there. It'll probably be there until after the new year. Um, I had originally made it private, but my teacher wanted to um, show it off to her colleagues because she was like super stoked on how awesome it was. Um, let's see. Let's do some sweating and... That, sure. And some more rice. This is so slow. I'm sorry guys, I wish this was a little more exciting. Oh, that wine is so good. I'm not getting sponsored by anybody. Not the water company or not the wine company, but um, I didn't even honestly read what kind of red wine it was, but I know it's a cupcake red wine. Um, and the cupcake is to me like a really good wine on the lower end of the spectrum. Um, usually don't have to spend too much and the quality is really good. That red wine is not a Merlot, I can tell you that much. Um, it's a little bit bitter when you first take a sip, but it goes down really smooth. and. Obviously, I was supposed to be like, it has a fruity taste. Obviously, it has a fucking fruity taste. Um, I don't really know how to describe it. It's like a little oaky, kind of. It developed pneumonia. I mean, I guess I'm just going to celebrate what it develops at this point, but in the future, if we have to replay this, I'm not going to celebrate it. Um... actually gonna get rid of pneumonia just because pneumonia is like too dangerous to have this early in the game but we are gonna add insomnia and uh, I think the next one I want to add is maybe going to be either the bird or the water bird is 15 water is 18 we only have nine so we're like halfway there ooh I'm really excited that it's infecting more countries. I think I'm going to hold out for the two more points and just evolve the water transmission. Not because, especially now because it's in Brazil. And even though, like, it's in West Africa, but when it gets to, like, here, um, and even though it's here, like, in the rainforest and stuff, there's tons of water, and the water quality is not always the greatest. So... Yeah. See, look at that. It's spreading like crazy now that I changed the water quality transmission. Okay. Let's see. I probably shouldn't say this, but nobody's noticed it yet. So, this could be working out in our favor. Hmm. 
let's see. How are we doing, first of all? Definitely gotta work on the cold. Oh, I've done all the cold. Ah, what the hell. We'll increase the heat resistance and the medicine one. Keep forgetting about it. Fuck. Next thing I gotta do is evolve the medicine resistance. Fuck you, Peru. Because it's not spreading in the U.S. as much as I had hoped it would by this point. Um, so right now... So... I'm still curious as to like... I get the gist that a prion is like a slow moving disease. But I'm curious as to what it actually is. Is it a bacteria? Is it a virus? Is it a parasite? Like, this would be really curious. I'd be really curious to learn more about it. Um, so if anybody don't, wants to like add in the comments down below, um, I really encourage interaction because I love, um, I have like the studio creators app on my phone. For YouTube, so I love interacting with you guys, and it makes it easier to respond to comments. Um, yeah, we'll decrease future research speed, and let's see, what can we do for transmission? I say we'll increase the chance of transmission via blood, um, because if people have rashes or skin lesions, um, it's a really good way to increase infectivity too. Glad it's picking up a little. I felt so bad showing you guys something that like was just slow as fuck. Um yeah. Ooh, shit. Okay. Let's do some more transmission. Extreme bio aerosol 22. Yeah, buddy. Um, so far we've got coughing and sweating and a rash and cysts. Cysts are good. Hell yeah, hypersensitivity. Jack that shit up. And paranoia. We're gonna make people afraid to go to the doctors. Time for some more steak. An extreme bio aerosol and I don't want to cause intense confusion because it just is past half point. If we do extreme confusion now, it might not have a chance to spread before people die. Definitely increase the effect medicine has on it though. Yeah, people can have fevers. Not too upset about it. First death in India, my ass. People have already started dying. I already know how to fight the cure. I don't need a reminder. Uh, sometimes it reminds you of stuff that even though you've been playing this game like forever, um, it reminds you of stuff that you like should be getting back when you're starting at like the bacteria level. Um, okay. Fuck yeah, Greenland. Greenland's getting infected. So literally 100% of the world is infected. Yay. So, well, probably should have worked on this before. Now we can do the neural atrophy. And let's see. Pneumonia is okay, but I feel like seizures would be more effective. 
and insanity for sure. Just crazy people can fuck shit up. Um, what is this? Immune suppression cost 20 points. Let's see if we can get one more bubble out of this. And I'll definitely change the immune suppression. So, putting it in the U.S. helped it spread. But I think my downfall is going to be the fact that the cure is at 50% and I didn't start developing symptoms right away and so people are going to die. It's killed more than the Black Death. But since there's no more healthy people, we'll try to sell this back. Now I can't remember the next step I was going to take. Shitballs. Devolve. Should probably be paying more attention to this part because if you don't pay attention to this part, um, you can accidentally reback, rebuy back something and like spend 30 points on something and be like, shit, I was trying to use those for something else. Um, cell death results in severe short term memory loss, making complex tasks significantly harder. So do I go with a third evolution of neural atrophy or do I do a genetic reshuffle and make the cure harder or do I sell back something else and use genetic hardening? Um, let's see. I'm just gonna... Oh, this is this is tough. I think I'm gonna go with genetic hardening. No, I'm gonna go with neural atrophy. Just hoping that like the fact that it's harder tasks, like more complex tasks are harder, maybe people will stop working on the cure. Um. Hmm. So, maybe starting it out in the U.S. wasn't as bad of an idea as I thought, but definitely a contributing factor as to why I'm not going to probably win is the fact that because it takes longer for genetic changes to happen, I probably should have developed symptoms when it was at like this point um, so that they could be active now. Yeah, I gotta sell back some shit. Let's hope that I can do it. Cause if not, I'm gonna be screwed. Okay. Transmission is sold back. Maybe some coughing? Let's see, abilities. I'd love to do a genetic reshuffle. Can we sell back? Yes. Genetic reshuffle. See if this helps us at all. <sighs> helps us a little bit. But people are simply not dying fast enough. I'm not even going to try anymore. I'm just going to sit here and watch myself lose because this is not this is pointless
so I guess I'll give it one more shot. Um, main game. And obviously we'll go with the prion. We want to give it a bonus in... Um, oh, I have to pick one. Either humid climate or dry climates. I'm going to say dry climates just because Greenland, I assume, is cold and dry. And I'd rather it be have bonus points there. Bonus DNA when devolving. Yes, please. And then what happens if you do translation and then go back to INS helix? Okay, so we have to pick between the two. I pick bonus DNA when devolving, because um, usually that gives you four DNA points as opposed to two. But, Darwinist. I do not want it to mutate on its own. And we'll call this mukbang 2.2. And just for shits and giggles, we'll start it again in the U.S. Um, oh, and because it's slow as fuck, excuse me, we're definitely going to fast forward. Um, I usually play on fast forward just because I can't deal with how slow this game is in general. Um, but especially this particular disease. Um, I just can't deal with how slow it is. Um, I've just realized that I don't think that I've talked about my rice yet. Um, and usually in mukbang they talk of like every aspect about their food. Um, so my rice is just a plain brown rice that was steamed. And then I added some salt and a tiny bit of butter. Um, I usually don't put butter on anything that I eat. Um, but I thought, what the hell. I usually try to eat fairly healthy, um, so I don't usually put salt on my rice either, but I figured why not indulge myself once I'm eating, well, not by myself totally, because you guys are, who are watching this get to see it, but, um, I'm eating by myself, might as well treat myself a little bit. Also, I need to drink a little bit more fluids, so salt kind of makes me thirsty, so it works out. Disease! Transmission. Let's uh, work on the air transmission and cold resistance and insomnia. That's a really good, like, subtle one to have, um, but it takes a while to develop, and we're going to develop Paranoia as well. Okay. Quick bite of rice. If you guys watching this are enjoying yourselves, please click subscribe down below. Um, give me a big thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, if you don't subscribe, at least a thumbs up would be superb if you're if you're enjoying yourself. If you're not enjoying yourself, um, I mean, feel free to put a thumbs down, but don't just put a thumbs down. Um, if there's something you don't like, or there's something that you need to work on, um, I encourage, again, comments down below. I am open to trying to fix things because I want you guys to enjoy this as much as possible. But it is too early to develop seizures, boy. A rash, at most. But um, yeah, I'm really open to ideas, um, things that I should fix, things that I should do. Um, I'm aware my audio is not the greatest. I'm working on getting a mic. 
just like I'm working on getting a capture card so I can live stream. Um, but for now, this is what I got. I also have a backdrop, but um, i got to find a way, to, a way to make it more efficient because the ceiling fan that's like behind me hits right where I would put the backdrop. So it kind of sucks balls. But um, anyway. Definitely build up the cold resistance and uh, that's all we can do for right now. This is the slowest. That's right. Medicine. Drug resistance. Fuck yeah. I just want it to go to Greenland. Uh, so, my next plan wasn't to change how livestock is infected, but now it has to be because otherwise it ain't gonna spread as fast. Well, that thing that just popped up basically said that there was new like regulation in place as far as how livestock is treated and transported um, so that's gonna affect how I um, how the spreads in rural areas so places like South America will be affected um, highly by that one so yay for them it won't spread as fast but that's not what we want so the next plan of action is I'm going to make it easier for livestock to become infected. Um, the livestock are infected, what people eat becomes infected, and then so on and so on, and it's a chain reaction. Okay. Fuck. I need some more points! Ah. Oh, let's go already! I love Futurama, by the way. I don't know if you guys play Futurama. Play Futurama. I'm a retard. I'm no. Oh, ooh, I hate that phrase. I'm really sorry. I meant to say ridiculous. I really meant to say ridiculous, and it just came out wrong. I don't know if you guys watch Futurama, but I'm a fan of Bender. So it's really good. This is sounds so morbid. Well, it's really good that there was a crisis in Korea. Um, because now the world, that part of the world is focused on fixing the problem and will be less focused on trying to fix later on. We'll be less fo focused on trying to fix the um, disease. Transmission. Definitely gotta do water next. What is water transmission work cost? It costs 11 DNA points. I infected the livestock. Yeah, buddy. Now we can infect the water. Hopefully that'll help speed things up a little bit.
obviously it's infecting more countries. Um, yeah, so a little background on this game, at least. As far as my history goes, um, I really love this game. And for those of you who have watched my videos before, already know this, I'm sorry. Um, but I started this playing this game when it first came out a couple years ago, and my I did it because the rest of my family was playing it. And this is, again, going to sound so morbid, um, but I don't care because at the same time, it's really funny. Um, even my little brothers, my little brothers, I mean, they're in their teens now, all of them. Um, so they weren't like that little. They're still my little brothers. Um, my dad started playing, and then my little brother started playing, and of course my mom had to play because she wanted to like see what the fuss was about. And so eventually everybody in my house was playing this, and there would be times where like we'd be sitting in the common area. We had like this. Most people have a TV in their living room, but in our living room we just had like a fireplace and a bunch of couches and a comfy place to sit for our dogs. Didn't. Jesus, my neighbor's car is so loud. Um, we'd be sitting in the common area all playing this game. Um, and it was pretty spectacular. And like, I was talking about earlier, we'd all be like, dead silent, playing the game. And then, all of a sudden you would hear that like, creepy little kid like, Ring around the rosy. But none of us would look up because we all knew it was the game. It's just, it was a good time. Do -do -do. So people are already dying, which scares me because the amount of people dead is not that far off from the amount of people infected. But I don't know why they're dying because I didn't. What are their symptoms? Their symptoms are just like paranoia and rash. I don't know. Maybe the people who are dead are elderly people or children who are more prone to disease. Um, let's see. Start working on this medicine stuff. Is anybody? I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Not gonna touch the medicine actually. Let's see. Has it touched Greenland yet? No, it has not. Um let's see. We can develop coughing and sweating. As far as transmission, definitely should work on air. Or water next, which we're both, I'm like one or two points away from. So, oh, look at that. Now, what? Let's see, who is affected? I still think air transmission would be the best one to evolve. Oh, but we shall see. Of course, the US starts to work on a cure. Err. Okay. Let's do this. We don't want people to concentrate too hard on that cure, so we're gonna do that. Um, oh shit. Continue. For those of you who have stuck around for the whole video, uh, kudos to you and thank you very, very much for the support. Oh shit. Okay. It's increased environmental hardening and genetic reshuffling. So hopefully it'll spread faster. And then when it gets to halfway infected, um, I will start to develop symptoms. So that would be, oh yes, Greenland, finally. Okay, so it's halfway. Let's develop some crazy fucking symptoms. Um, not sneezing, paralysis. Let's go with seizures and insanity 
and not dysentery, paralysis, not coma, fever. Let's see what comes after fever. Immune suppression, a good one. Which I suppose, I'm assuming I'm really successful so far, but if I'm not, I might try to evolve immune suppression earlier because that might actually help infectivity. Time for some more rice. Hell yeah. Okay. We're infecting people pretty pretty good. 92% infected. Eight are still healthy. Let's go to symptoms. Coma. Three away from total total organ failure, which is my favorite. And would you look at that? Total organ failure. Yay! Okay, and after that we will do neural atrophy. Actually, fuck it, we'll do it now. Fuck it, we're doing it live. 95% guys. 95% infected. It's killing really fast. Okay, let's see. Another sip of wine to celebrate my genius. Oh, shit, son. I'm going to sound really ignorant, but um, when you're playing on your phone or your tablets, like when I first started playing with my family, there wasn't that many options on the world menu, and so I had no idea that this would scroll. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Systemic infection symptom mutated. So, wait a second. It just went from 95 to 93? Oh, because more people are dying. Ooh, duh. Systemic infection. Pathogen affects multiple organs and tissue types, causing body wide infections that spread fast and can be fatal. Ha ha ha. What percent is still healthy? Not that many. So it's 179 million right now. We'll just let it go for like another couple seconds. Keep going. Keep going. And 127 million. So the number is going down. Slowly. But it's going down. Um, here is at 41%, so that's good. At least it's not like 80. Um, let's see. 59 million. Hell yeah. Healthy people are, are getting very sick. And we're at 54%. This one is going to be really, really close. Okay. Click on it again. Down to three million. We're really close to the whole world being infected. Woohoo! Feels so wrong. So wrong. Two million. Okay. I have enough points that maybe we could decrease future research speed. More work needed to develop a cure. I'm going with that one. And of course, the last stage of neural atrophy, because reasons. Only one mil one point five million healthy people left in the world. Cure is not doing so good for itself. Okay. Oh, this one's gonna be close. Hopefully, not all the people die. I might have just fucked myself. Really close.
Um, transmission through water. I don't even know if this is going to help at this point, but. Do what I get in. Ugh! That would suck if I had like 20,000 healthy people left in the world. So the cure isn't going up. Oh, I'm so close! This is probably the closest I've ever come in any level of this game. Um, and on the phone or tablets um, that we were all playing before, when my family like first started playing this game, um, I have unlocked all of it. <sighs> Holy Jesus. I have unlocked all the levels before, um, but I don't remember this one being so difficult. Yay, it developed sneezing. Oh my god. Ugh, 150,000 people, I guess, they are going to be left in the world. 197 still. Everybody is going to be dead. So definitely, I think, um, obviously after this one I'll be done. Um, but next time I'm going to have to work on spreading the disease. Like the transmission symptoms and things like coughing and whatnot are going to have to happen way sooner so that they develop in time for things like immune suppression to occur like halfway through. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me on my American mukbang version of um, Plague Inc. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to click subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching and... Uh, Probably see you guys tomorrow. Bye.